In this video, we'll have a look at the feed allocation tools that the Red Meat Profit Partnership and Beef and Lamb New Zealand FeedSmart app has. Using the example we used in the introduction, we'll take some new hoggets that currently weigh 50 kilos that we want to grow at 50 grams per day. There are four different allocation tools. In the original video or the introduction video, we showed you how to work out the number of days in the paddock. The residual cover calculator is important for achieving high animal performance. It can work out how much feed will be left in the paddock when you want to shift them on. So let's say we have our 500 hogget mob. Paddock size is 5 hectares. We're going in at 1500 kilograms of dry matter and we think we'll leave them in there for 6 days. This tells us that at the end of that 6 days, the residual cover will be 799 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. That's probably a little bit low to achieve that sort of performance, so we can adjust the number of days that we have in the paddock, or we can add in some supplementary feed. The next calculator tells us how many animals we can put into a paddock. So again, taking the example of those ewe hoggets, 50 kilograms, growing at 50 grams per day. Let's say we have a 5 hectare paddock, we want them to go in there for 4 days, 1500 cover at the start, we're taking them out, with a residual of 1,000, and it tells us that that will handle 536 animals. We can also add in supplementary feed to make them last longer. The last calculator is size of a paddock break. This tells us, if particularly useful when we're on a crop, how long animals can last on a break or how big the break has to be. Taking our mob of 500, let's say we want to have them on a daily break over winter. And in this case, we'll put them on a crop at 15 tonnes of dry matter. And in winter, let's take it down to a lower residual of 800 kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day. It's winter, so we'll also throw in some supplement. Let's say we're giving them 200 grams of dry matter per head per day. And that tells us that they need 0.03 of a hectare per day. If we know the paddock width, let's say it's a 250 metre wide paddock, it'll tell us exactly how far we have to move the brake each day, and in this case, just one metre. And we can play around with that. If we want to make it last four days, it's a six metre brake, so obviously there's a little bit of rounding going on in there. Don't forget to check out the other tools that show you how to set the specific details of the feed app to a particular crop, particularly important in winter when you want to get utilisation, feed quality and supplement quality just right. And there's our introductory tool as well, showing you how to use the tool to work out feed intake requirements.